Last night we had a phenomenal talk with the fathers. We covered the three things that men need in a relationship and we covered the three things that women slash wives need in a relationship. We went into one of those, which was respect for a guy. And granted that should be from the wife to the husband. So I didn't focus too much on that, but someone had asked, as a husband, how do you conduct yourself in a way that would be respectable? And we put it into three points. The first point is, are you actually a leader? Meaning, do you practice what you preach? Are you telling people to be healthy, but you're on the side eating donuts? There's nothing worse than a healthcare professional telling you to be healthy while they're eating donuts. And, and I tell you what, I'll hear, you can feel better, take a couple pills. You'll feel better in the morning. This is to treat your um, high blood pressure, but they never actually get around to treating the cause, they just treat the symptoms. So one is, are, do, are you conducting yourself in a proper way? Are you doing the things that you say you should be doing and know you should be doing? Number two is, are you letting your emotions affect you? Granted, life is hard. Something affects you, sways your middle. Does it dictate your actions? Are you someone who blows up? Are you someone who explodes at random things? Because if you're not, you shouldn't. You should have control of your emotions. As Jim Rohn would say, it's okay to throw yourself on the cross, throw yourself on the floor and cry when you're three, but not when you're 33. We expect you to be mature. So that's the second one. And the third one is I describe it as holding frame. As some of you guys from the red pill sphere might understand that differently. And someone, as someone I'd point out in the group, that could mean gaslight, but that's not the way I describe it, or I guess the accurate way to describe the action. Someone in the group had chimed in and said, well, in college I took a class that said, that was called marriage and sex. And in the class, they had taught to do the yes ma'am. Just say yes ma'am, your life will be easier. But he interpreted yes ma'am, and after his own understanding, he, he broke it down and he said, what that meant to me, and the way I'm taking it now, is it means you listen to your wife, and you think about it, and then you give it back. Whether you agree with it or not, you give it back. You might implement it now into the frame, you might not. My idea of holding frame, and that's a more accurate way of saying what I wanted to say because my idea of holding frame is that exact definition. It means taking it into consideration, maybe we add it to the framework, maybe we don't. But the issue was, the reason I say holding frame is because in my last relationship, I broke frame all the time. I just understood, yes, ma'am, is doing whatever my wife wanted, or in that case, whatever my girlfriend had wanted. And so I just became a pushover and whatever she was feeling at the time would go. And that is definitely not a respectable thing if you are being pushed around by anyone. So those were the lessons from last night's call. And I'm glad we discussed it and I'm glad we hashed it out. And it's not really something that's covered all so much from men. So. I'm making this video today to take an audit of your own life and take a look in your relationship. Are you doing the things you should be doing? Are you emotionally reacting to things that you shouldn't be emotionally reacting to? And three, are you taking care to listen and consider versus just being pushed over and doing whatever someone else wants? That's it for today, guys. I got a few more days left of this. The rest of these will be from on the road. And um, see you guys tomorrow.